arterial tubercle. Medial face. Now I want to come just off the medial face and in a separate plane, move the skin over. A little poke hole. A little poke hole into the medial face of the tibia. Out. See the bone where already starting to come out. Plunger. There's our area. Nice, easy, steady flow. One of the keys of the Biomac is to you want to lower the amount of clots and cellular activation. We don't want to lice a bunch of these cells, so there's no need to get too rapid of a draw. Nice, slow, easy draw. We use 30 cc syringes because it's less traumatic to the cells. One. Again, it's not as important as the wire spin. We can uh, spin up to about 110 cc's at one time. So I'll try to get at least 60. And that's and those two syringes is about 70. Most of your cells are in that first 30 cc draw. The second 30 cc draw, you're continuing to wash the encrypted cells out of the cancellous bone into the syringe. Same with this third syringe. On this patient, we talk about with the mesenchymal stem cells needing a collagen matrix or a scaffold. In this patient, that's going to be the ACL graft, the allograft tissue graft. At the end of the case, we'll literally inject the bone marrow aspirate concentrate into the graft itself and into the joint to help prolong the activity in the knee and to help keep our graph alive. Show the card back in. Pull it out. And now it's literally prepped into the same field as my knee scope and allows for a true bone marrow aspirate mesenchymal stem cell draw.